Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you four different ways to delete a SharePoint site. First, we'll talk about who can delete SharePoint sites. Then we'll show you how to delete a site in SharePoint. In the SharePoint Admin Center. In the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And finally, using PowerShell, plus an important bonus tip. Generally, the people who can delete SharePoint sites are site owners and administrators, specifically global or site collection admins. But it's also possible for admins to delegate site deletion permissions to other users. To delete a site in SharePoint, head to the site you want to delete, then click the gear icon in the top right. Then select site information in the drop-down menu. Now head down and hit delete site. A dialog box will pop up. Head to it and check the box inside, and then hit delete to confirm. Admins can delete sites from the SharePoint Admin Center. To get there, head to Microsoft365.com and sign in. There, hit admin on the left, or head up and click the app launcher in the top left. Then select admin from the list of apps. In the admin center, click the menu icon in the top left. Then head down and click Show All. Now select SharePoint from the list of admin centers. In the SharePoint Admin Center, click on Active Sites in the Sites tab on the left menu. Next, head across and select the site you want to delete. Then click the three dots at the top, and select Delete from the drop-down. In the next window, click the delete button to confirm. To delete a SharePoint site from the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, go to Microsoft365.com and select Admin in the left menu. In the Admin Center, click the menu icon in the top left. Then go to Teams and Groups in the left menu, and select Active Teams and Groups from the revealed options. Here, Locate and click the site that you want to delete. Now head across to the flyout pane, and click delete at the top. Finally, hit the delete team button. If you've got the SharePoint online management shell, then you can also delete a SharePoint site using PowerShell. To get it, click the link in the description. You'll need to be using Windows, with one of the operating systems listed on screen but it also works on Windows 11. Click the download button if you don't already have the SharePoint online management shell installed. Once downloaded, run the installer, and then follow the on-screen instructions to install it. Once installed, click the Windows search bar, and type PowerShell. Now head up and click Run as Administrator. Next, we need the address to your SharePoint site. So, open SharePoint in the browser. Then copy the address up to .com. Now head back to PowerShell, and type connect. Dash. SPO. Service. Space. Dash URL. Space. And then paste the link. Use the left arrow to navigate to the end of the tenant name just before .sharepoint. There, type dash admin. Now hit enter on your keyboard. You'll be prompted to sign into your account. Once you've done that, we need to install the Azure AD module, so we can delete both the group and site. To do that, type install. Dash module. Space. Dash name. Space. Then type Azure AD, and hit enter. Now we've installed the Azure AD module, go ahead and type connect. Dash Azure AD. Then hit enter. You'll need to sign in again. Once you've done that, we can find the ID for each site's group by typing get. Dash Azure AD group. 
Hit enter, then look for the group's corresponding object ID. Highlight and copy the ID by pressing Ctrl or Command and C on your keyboard. Next, type remove. Dash. Azure AD group. Space. Dash object ID. Space. Quotation. Then paste in the ID, and add another quotation mark at the end. Hit enter. Now we've deleted the group, we can delete the site by typing remove. Dash. SPO site. Space. Dash identity. Space. Now open your SharePoint site, and this time copy the whole URL. Head back to PowerShell, and paste the URL into the command line, and hit enter. Finally, type Y, and hit enter. You might see an error stating that the site belongs to a Microsoft 365 group. However, if you remove the group correctly, this error is likely due to a syncing issue, as it takes time for the site and group deletion to become effective. Wait a few minutes, then refresh the SharePoint site. Doing so will result in a 404 error, indicating that the site was deleted successfully. An important bonus tip for anyone deleting their SharePoint sites, is to know that you can restore sites up to 93 days after deletion. To restore a deleted site, open your SharePoint Admin Center. Then click Sites in the left menu, and select Deleted Sites from the Revealed options. Here, select the site you want to restore, then hit Restore at the top. Finally, hit Restore again to confirm. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it, and you'll be helping us grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to check the description for additional resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.